Hey everybody, Bemis here. And in the last couple of days, you've probably heard a lot about something called uh, CISA's Known Exploited Vulnerabilities Catalog. So I wanted to take a couple minutes to go through it together and explain a little bit about how it works. Now, there's been a lot going on with exploited vulnerabilities in August of 2022. And the current thing making its way around the news is this right here, Palo Alto Network CVE 2022-0028. Um, Palo Alto's network's PanOS reflected amplification of denial of service vulnerability, right? So this is a vulnerability out there, has to do with denial of service for Palo Alto devices. And CISA has come out and said, hey, you need to go fix this because it's being actively exploited and it is a threat to security, right? That's what this whole vulnerability list is about. So if we keep scrolling down, we're gonna see that August has actually been a very, very busy month for vulnerabilities. We've got some SAP. We've got the Apple iOS stuff. This was also a really, really big news story uh, last week, I think it was, to the point where end user consumers were freaking out that someone was gonna hack their Apple device. So these are things that are out all the time. And you know, CISA just wants everybody to know, here's the things that are being actively exploited and they should be fixed in your environment. So let's keep going. We've got Google Chrome, that's another consumer thing. Microsoft's Active Directory, always a pleasure when Active Directory is being exploited, right? More Windows, more Palo Alto networks, uh, Zimbra, that was another big thing making the news cycles. And we actually have to click to the next page for just this month because if we scroll all the way back up, we can see a couple more things, Microsoft and RAR Lab, like UnRAR, right? That's something that a lot of people use as well. And again, it goes on and on and on, this whole list of vulnerabilities that are currently being exploited. So what is the criteria for an exploit to make it to this list? I'm glad you asked, so let's go take a look real quick. There's actually specific guidance about this catalog and how things get into the catalog. So how should organizations use this catalog? We wanna be keeping an eye on it. Um, you can actually sign up for alerts so you get directly to your inbox, hey, this is what's going on. These are some new active exploits you should look at. But he, here's the really interesting thing. So what happens? Like first we know an exploit exists. Um, it needs a CVE, right? So a CVE gets assigned to an exploit. We're good to go. That's part one of the process. This is very common. Um, I actually read like the exploit feed, the CISA uh, CVE list. I have it in one of my RSS feeders and I just kind of scroll through them every day. And you'll notice just like, big batches of stuff suddenly hit, usually around patching cycles, which we'll talk to in a minute. Active exploitation. Now here's the thing, right? We want them to be exploitable to get to this list because if we're gonna, CISA's gonna come out and say, this is really, really something you should look at. It needs to be a real threat. So active exploitation. So two big characteristics. characteristics. Attempted exploitation. So this is an exploit that people are actively working on, which means it's just a matter of time before someone figures it out, or successful exploitation. So if a vulnerability is being actively exploited or we know that there's exploits being worked on, it's gonna get added to this list. But here's the really interesting part, right? Clear remediation guidance. We need to have clear remediation guidance on these exploits for them to make this list, right? Because if we put out an exploit on this list and there's no clear remediation, people are gonna get it to their inbox. They're gonna say, oh no, this is super critical, AD, I'm in trouble. Oh, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do next and nothing's gonna happen. So it's really, really important for the actions to be there, the remediation actions, so we know here's how we fix things. Now, one quick other thing I just wanna bring your attention to is my favorite, um, this little Microsoft Active Directory one, where was it? Oh, it was back on the other page, hold on. So earlier this month, a couple days ago, this one made it to the list. It was after Apple, so Active Directory. So I did a little research on some of these um, CVEs just because like I said, I read CVEs for fun, go figure. And this actually came out in May of 2022. And when it was released, uh, it was part of the Windows update cycle, right? So just go patch your stuff, you're good to go. But it just made it to the exploit list, the critical exploit list now, right? Known exploit or vulnerabilities. So, that means people are actively exploiting it, but it was part of Windows updates, right? So people are obviously still not patching. And if I was someone who wanted to go wreak havoc, I'd probably go look at a list of CVEs from a couple months ago and say, okay, who hasn't fixed this? Maybe they'd make a tasty victim for exfiltration or encryption or whatever I feel like doing today. 
So this is a really handy guide, right? Known exploited vulnerabilities. These are things that we have known exploits for out there. CISA publishes this list list. You can go and sign up for alerts. Where's the little sign up button, right? Subscribe to alerts right here. Um, so you can get all this directly to your inbox when you know there's something critical going on. So you should go and fix it. So if you've seen a news article about known exploited vulnerabilities, this is the catalog. You can come browse it for yourself and learn a little bit more about what's going on.